Hi guys, my name is Isabel. It is the 15th week in Ordinary Time. The word of the week is council and this is extraordinary. So we will begin this time together by uniting ourselves to the Lord and making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the word of the week this week is counsel, but what does that really mean? It's sometimes known as right judgment, so making those good decisions. Um, and sometimes we think about it in relation to our conscience. So um, we consider that counsel, that gift of that Holy Spirit um, working in our lives through our conscience. Um, it makes me think a bit about Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio. Um, if you don't know it, um, in Pinocchio, a little cricket guy in a top hat is hired to sit on Pinocchio's shoulder and be his conscience, um, to tell him what the right thing to do is and when something that Pinocchio wants to do is the wrong thing, to try and help him guide him on this path. Um, and the Holy Spirit is kind of like Jiminy Cricket for us, although better, um, because it knows us very, very well. Um, and when we allow the Holy Spirit to work in our lives, um, the gifts of the Spirit, this particular gift, counsel, can really work and show us where the right or wrong um, way to go is and guide us down that path. And also give us the strength to face those difficult situations sometimes. We're going to hear a little bit about counsel in this week's Gospel. Um, Jesus is telling us a story, um, the Good Samaritan, you might know it, um, and he shows us some different ways that you can react um, and respond to a situation and which of those ways is the good, right, life-giving way and which is the wrong way, the way that doesn't respond with love. And we're just going to hear about that and it will show us a little bit about right judgement. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. A teacher of the law came up and tried to tra trap Jesus. Teacher, he asked. What must I do to receive eternal life? Jesus answered him, What do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? The man answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbour as you love yourself. You are right, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But the teacher of the law wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, who is my neighbour? Jesus answered, There was once a man who was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him, stripped him and beat him up, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest was going down that road, but when he saw the man, he walked on by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite also came there, went over and looked at the man, and then walked on by on the other side. But a Samaritan, who was travelling that way, came upon the man, and when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to him, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own animal and took him to an inn where he took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper. Take care of him, he told the innkeeper, and when I come back this way I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. And Jesus concluded, In your opinion, which of these three acted like a neighbour towards the man attacked by the robbers? The teacher of the law answered, The one who was kind to him. Jesus replied, You go then and do the same. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, the Good Samaritan, a classic. Um, here we have Jesus telling us uh, a little story to tell us about who our neighbour is and that first commandment that the uh, the teacher of the law um, outlined love the Lord your God with all your heart blah 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 and love your neighbour as you love yourself and uh, Jesus, Jesus clearly knew that they needed a little bit of experience to know the counsel the right judgement on what that looked like the first person that we have is a priest who you would expect to be holy and um, all the things that make someone like a perfect person but in fact he didn't respond with love and neither did the Levite it was when it was someone who was completely different to the people that Jesus was talking to um, the Samaritan who is from a completely different area came 
and gave everything that he could to this person who was suffering. He, um, he went over, it says he poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Oil and wine were not cheap things. This would have meant that he had had to like spend a little bit of money on um, this man and then of course pays the innkeeper to take care of this person. And I think this is a really beautiful example of counsel and how the Holy Spirit in working to fill us with his gifts um, always directs us in something that's altered towards love and goodness and how um, counsel isn't just um, making right decisions and like, what's textbook correct but in fact something that um, is life-giving, something that is good and that um, spreads God's love to other people. Um, I think also it's really amazing how the teacher of the law is the one asking the questions. Um, you would expect that with a teacher it's someone who other people go to to experience that gift of the Spirit working in him, um, to working um, to have good counsel, right judgment. Um, but in fact, he had to ask Jesus in order to get good counsel. And I think that really says something about how we can share um, our experience of counsel with others so that we can all um, build the kingdom of God together. We're just going to enter a little bit of time of reflection now. So if you just want to get comfortable, um, sit however you want to sit. Um, if you need to, you can close your eyes. Um, and we're just going to take a moment to really invite the Holy Spirit into our lives and give us counsel. Where in your life can you already see the Holy Spirit giving you counsel? Helping you make those good choices, helping you act with love. Sometimes um, that can look like when you know someone who, who might seem really wise. It kind of links to that other gift of the spirit, wisdom. Um, so maybe who in your life helps to share their counsel with you, helps to point you down the right path? It could be um, someone you live with, um, a family member. It could be a friend, a teacher, whoever it might be. Is there maybe somewhere in your life where you don't feel like you have good counsel? Maybe somewhere where you don't know quite what to do, what the right thing, what the life-giving good thing to do is. And we're just going to ask the Holy Spirit in this moment to fill us with um, that gift of counsel so that we can know which path to take. And finally, in the same way that we can experience counsel and um, gain the experience of right judgment from others, how can we share, how can we share that with the people around us? And we're just gonna offer up all these things to the Father um, who is completely united with the Holy Spirit and ask him to guide us, uh, give us what we need to face these situations with good counsel. As we say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And we'll end together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, um, for joining in on this week's Extraordinary. I've been Isabel, um, and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.